ناظرین ابھی آپ کو اسلام آباد براہ راست لیے چلتے ہیں جہاں پر سعودی وزیر خارجہ فیصل بن فران اور پاکستانی وزیر خارجہ اساگڈا نیوز کانفرنس کر رہی ہیں اٹ مائٹ ہیو ایڈیڈ دا مور ویلیو بٹ ایٹ دا ٹائم آف لانچ اٹ واز 2.3 ٹریلین روپیز یو نو ورتھ آف ایسٹس ود دس ناؤ وی آر لوکنگ ٹوورڈس ایکسپینڈنگ تھرو ایس آئی ایف سی اینڈ یوزنگ دس ویکل فار ایگزامپل Uh, we are very uh, uh, you know rich uh, history in agriculture we have a great scope in it we have uh, mines and minerals worth of uh, over 10 uh, trillion dollars uh, against pakistan total debt of 130 billion uh, peanuts uh, of dollars uh, you know total national debt and liabilities so we have to streamline those assets and use this vehicle so we have different opportunity depends on the on the appetite of the investor For example, our uh, uh, you know dear uh, uh, you know delegation and led by my dear brother, uh, Foreign Minister of uh, Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, we have given a lot of uh, big menu uh, which covers the energy, IT, agriculture, mines and minerals, uh, your hydro dams, your solar, you name it, it's there. So obviously, it is uh, there. Uh, you know they would reflect it, they would go through it. Uh, they will uh, go back home they will uh, you know discuss with the relevant departments and obviously inshallah we will have so we have uh, to actually uh, use the safc because your question was S safc and and saudi arabia we have fraternal ties we have uh, a rich uh, background uh, we have been seen together on all international forums on the common uh, approach to uh, you know uh, uh, multilateral uh, at the multilateral forums so you know this uh, has already a very rich relationship between the two brotherly countries now we are trying to and uh, with the help of uh, my dear brother uh, his highness the foreign minister of kingdom of saudi arabia what we are aiming at uh, in accordance with the uh, vision of prime minister shahwaz sharif to convert this uh, upscale this uh, relationship and convert it into a viable strategic and economic partnership so that we both can benefit so you know we have about 2.8 million diaspora uh, in uh, in saudi arabia they are hosting i just thank my brother you know for for being a great host and they are 28% of our pakistani expats abroad so you know we have a we have a huge uh, agenda to work with and pakistan is a great potential i am uh, i'm I, i was telling my brother that i'm born optimist because this country Uh, which was uh, declared macroeconomic unstable country in 2013 turned out to be within 3 to 4 uh, years 24th global economy of the world with the prediction by the price water house that it will be part of g20 in within next few years so this is the potential of pakistan we are trying to streamline and for that we are looking towards experience and the expertise and the support from our very dearly brotherly country and its leadership uh Uh, uh, now uh, i will give the floor to mr shokat piracha of uh, arj news thank you very much a <coughs> uh, very warm mel- uh, highness the foreign minister of kingdom of saudi arabia as foreign minister of pakistan has rightly said that we never uh, um, uh, seen such a big delegation from saudi arabia and obviously appreciation for his excellency the ambassador uh, nawaf bin said al maliki for his contributions my question to honorable foreign ministers both of them is uh, how uh, saudi arabia views the ongoing international efforts for cease fire in gaza and secondly uh, what are the likely consequences of the recent escalation for the peace and stability of the broader region where we all live thank you very much uh, thank you very much uh, for your question and uh, what can i say about gaza except that uh, the international effort nazreen islamabad mein saudi wazir kharja faisal bin faran aur pakistani wazir kharja isaq dar news conference kar rahe the